was back in 1923 that the Ojanikwa School was founded here in George in the Southern Cape. And today, Headmaster Christo Forster and his school celebrate 90 years of existence on this beautiful campus down here in George. And part of that celebration is the big match that we'll be bringing to you shortly in pretty much ideal weather conditions. A little bit cool and quite heavy underfoot after recent rain, but nevertheless, absolutely picture perfect. And it has been a celebration and is a celebration of not just rugby, but netball, golf, hockey, and many, many schools from around the country have come down here to celebrate this festival. Well, significantly, South Africa opened their under-18 international series with a victory over England at uh, the City Park Stadium. And, well, four of the Otaniqua players were part, basically, of that South African squad. So there would have been some local interest in that as much as anything else. They call it the land of milk and honey down here in the Western Cape. And, well, they'll be pleased to, to know that the school's ranking results have them at number three, Otaniqua, the home team, who were displaced by Paul Jim in the number one position earlier this season. And at the moment, it's Uffies from Pretoria who hold the number one position. Down from 11 to 20, again, a good spread throughout the country. And Oakdale finally in 20th position. The school from Riversdale who also will be playing one of their big derbies next weekend against Bulland Agricultural College. So these are the results then, and you'll see the word quacha at the top there. That's essentially is what they call the local boys, Otaniqua, they call quachas. So Langenwoven with a good victory there. Augsburg were particularly pleased with their victory over Pearson. And Nikamalan a draw with Diamantfeld, which I'm sure they'll be quite proud of too. This is the match we're bringing you now. Otsunikwe against Nordkop. Then Marlow and Irge Janssen, Gersfontein, who've had a very good season too, will be up against Tigerberg. Just the one game on the your World of Champions, which will be Otsunikwe against Nordkop. The visitors then who coming off an, an interesting season. They've played 10, won six, lost three and drawn one. But nevertheless, 12 Craven Week players in that squad, which, uh, and that includes the replacements, of course. So a talented team that, captained by Jubair uh, Stein. And look out as well for Njenje and Leidecker, who are playing in the lock position today. Very, very mobile players. And uh, Dimitri Titis in the center berth has also had an excellent season. The Otaniqua team captained by Gio Milan, and as I said earlier, four players missing from that today in the South African school squad. <laughs> and they will rely very heavily on their pack of forwards in perhaps ideal conditions too for a forward battle on a very heavy field or heavy underfoot. Good season that they've had as well. Just the one loss this season against Paul Gymnasium in 14 matches that they've played. Excellent last up match that they had too, where they won 66-10 against Otsorn. And uh, Nordkarp too had a good victory over Daniel Pinar at 40-24. So it'll be Nordkarp who'll be playing in the white jerseys. And alongside me, Gareth Wright, who assured me that there was a slight breeze that this team will be playing into in the first half. Thanks, Gavin. There'll be no quarter given, no quarter asked by these men from Kimberley, especially in the centres where you've got a young man by the name of Luke Mason and Dimitri Titis up against Dos Kuman and Henny Barnard, formerly a winger and fullback of Skuman and Barnard. That is where the crucial part of this game is going to take place for me. But idyllic conditions here, and we look forward to an open, free-running game of rugby this afternoon. That's our referee for this game, Jaco De Witt. Nice opportunity for him the day after Women's Day in his lovely little pink top. And just having a look at that field from here, you can see it's just, uh, it's got a lot of dampness.
And you touched on the field. They've had 110 millimeters of rain this week. It's held up remarkably well considering the two previous games beforehand. And it's a testament to the ground staff down here at Taniqua. Six black. Gior. So Guillermo Mini at fly half for Nurt Karp will start this match. That's a pretty good way to start, isn't it? Wow. Well fielded there by Hilford Clark. And somehow or other Otaniqua got themselves into a real mix-up from that kickoff. Just inside line, it's open wide, get behind you. From the restart, just not reading it at all. This outside man on the left 22. wing, Hilford Clark, he's got searing pace. And they're going to have to keep their eye on him. Interesting short line out immediately called Otaniqua's Mane Buerta with the throw in. It's gone awry. It's a super offload that to Bradley Laydeckers. That's a ball. Last feed, Black. This is a good start, this from Nurt Karp. Use it once, White. Well, I think that ball might be held up at the moment, so it's going to be a put in toe to Nikwa. See the towering frame of Edward yes, Zandberg at number five. There he is in picture there for Ota Nikwa. Very much the go to man quite often in their team. Psychologically, Otaniqua, all week they've talked about the mission of their four SA schools players. They'll have to get rid of that psychologically, get on with the game, and concentrate on what they need to do best to win this Gross. fixture. I guess yeah, winning it is just such an important day for them. You know, 90th year of celebration, playing in front of so many people. So a lot of pressure on the home team, too, stay, to stay, produce stay. the goods, yeah? Otaniqua formed back in 1923, as I mentioned earlier. 1,600 learners, so it's a massive right, school. North Carp was uh, established a lot earlier in 1943 with just over a thousand learners. So, two pretty big schools and two very successful rugby schools. This time it's Billy van Asvirchen with a throw in, deciding to go to the front to Tulani Ninjenja. Gareth, this is very much what I envisage here is a forward battle between these two teams. Great leg drive from the Kimberley outfit as they inch forward to their trial line. Well, their drive has been a very purposeful one. Now, do they ignite this back line of theirs? No, they bring it back in field courtesy of Luke Mason. So, opportunity, yeah. Tulani and Jenja thinking about a quick take, but they might well decide to kick a goal, yeah? Nope. The power of the forwards is going to be brought into play. No. The decision is now taken. Let's kick a goal. I think that's a wise one. Early in the game, they've had a surfeit of possession early on. It's been all Nortkop, and from the cutback move, Luke Mason went to ground. Unfortunately, no daylight shown by number six, Gio Molan, the captain of Otaniqua, the Quachas. And it's an early opportunity. I've always been one to take your points when on offer, build get a lead behind. and work from there. White, get behind. This is Dimitri Titis taking the penalty kick. Well, he's got a little bit of a win to contend with. He'll have to draw it in from right to left. That right upright will be his starting target. But well, he's actually kept it rather tight to that left hand upright, but they've got the first points. Have no cop. You didn't see them on that earlier ranking sheet, but they are in the top 30. They're just not in the top 20. So also making it a good contest for them. So the captain, Gio Milan, giving away that penalty for Otaniqua and Titis with the conversion. Keenan Tarantal with the kickoff. It's just a little bit messy, that for Otaniqua. They just want to get their forwards a little bit better organized, bring some togetherness with the, from them. Always talk about operating under a proverbial blanket. It's important on a, a damp, slow field to be just tight. 
and well organized as a, a group, the forwards themselves. Yeah, first up from black, then white. Otunik, who I look somewhat lethargic and, and shell-shocked in this opening five minutes. They've made mistake after mistake. They'll need to just show a little bit of composure. The captain, Milan, will have to pull them in and say, look, fellas, I know we're on TV, I know it's a big day, but let's concentrate and try win the win the small battles before we attempt to win the war. Crouch. Well, part of the war, you saw Van Antonekka there, tight head for Otunikwe. He's a giant of a man. Quickly out there from GM Bruvier. Not cop used to playing on hard fields, of course. Now they found some space here. This is excellent running. He has a real chance for them. That's brilliantly read, I thought, initially, but over goes Hilford Clark. <laughs> Absolutely classic move that from uh, a tight, a tight phase. It was a ball move through the hands, and it was. The fullback Ryan De V, who made the initial incursion, and then it was Clark, who's got searing pace. We mentioned earlier on, not a big fan of the dive, but he's managed to get away with it, and he's put his side into a healthy lead early on in this game. Uh, it's a terrific start by them. Another chance here for Dimitri Titis, knowing a little bit about the weather conditions from the last kick a couple of minutes ago. He, one of the Craven Week players for Grickle and West in this Nordkarp team, one of 12. In fact, five of their backline players played Craven Week for Grickwiz. Well, this time, he certainly aimed, I think, for that right hand upright, but it just stayed out. It's nevertheless, a great start this by Nordkarp. Well, from the scrum, it was moved through the hands. It was a good flat pass by Mason. Got on the outside of Doskuman. Had too much pace for him. And it was Hilford Clark who showed knee touches to finish the try in the corner. It's another really good kickoff from Keenan Tarantal into the sun, making it difficult for Nordkarp to control it. But I really fancy that they want to use their pack of forwards to drive the ball upfield. Use it or lose it. Well, for the second time, they haven't managed to use it in those uh, malls. And, of course, the ball then is given to the opposition to put in in the scrum. Here's the mark. Well, again, a, a wonderful restart by the diminutive scrum of Keenan Tanantal. That's allowed Otaniqua to get into an attacking position on the left-hand side with a scrum. Probably your best attacking move, considering all eight forwards are tied in, as well as the scrum Roach. who's on the far side of that scrum. Cancel. Get it right from the start. Keenan okay. Tarantal to put the ball in. Gareth, do you know what a Tarantal is? Crouch. A guinea foul. Right. Yeah, correct. It's a guinea Scrum. foul. So the guinea fouls with Scrum off. Out to Stefan to Blanche. A little bit of space here from Barnard. First real attacking opportunity here right. for Otaniqua. Use it. And, well, that's one of the dangers, Touch of course. Side is uh, a turnover possession so another opportunity here for to blanche wide out to barnard he's looking for the little chip that ball's gone forward i fancy Lost so it'll be an otaniqua right. scrum in a very favorable position mark. well otaniqua has trademark throughout the year has been their willingness to keep the ball in hand just showing touches that really are un like this Quachis side, it was a little chip into space, but unfortunately the V couldn't collect, and it split the field here. Crouch, bind, scrum. Tarantal with a put in, and it's a strong scrum initially from Nord Karp, but they've come away with it now. Tarantal, it's a poor effort that from Leon Becker, a uh, rather uh, Leighton Eckstein. Although perhaps the pass didn't quite go where it should have. Yeah, that, that has to go down as an opportunity gone a begging. We've got a center field scrum on the middle of the 22 meter line. It was just a poor pass by Tarantal initially. You would expect the left winger Leighton Extend to pick that up. 
Bind. Fortunately, he spilt Scrum. it and handed Nordkop an opportunity to exit their red zone. I think this Nordkop team, just in these early minutes, look like they've got a very useful pack of forwards. Sweet. Must be enjoying themselves Use at that. the moment. Carried back. Getting a lot of possession. Now that was carried back, so they'll keep it in field. Taken there by Corne de Clark. It's good, strong running from the back by de Clark. Well, that's been beautifully turned over by Nord Karp. The forwards really are doing their bit. Well, part of the challenge, yeah, is uh, that uh, when you've got the ball and you're carrying it up, that's Dr. Boyson. Doctors are normally spot on, aren't they? Lovely kick that from Otonekwa. Another great attacking situation. Well, here we saw Dr. Boyson, the big burly, tarted prop. Unfortunately, not being allowed to play. So I thought the, the referee was a little bit quick in awarding that penalty. Nonetheless, it's a great attacking opportunity for Otonekwa. And look for the banker ball at two and the drive to come. Well, they've decided to go middle. Now, can they replicate? Well, they're not going to even think about it. Just Kio Milan that came away with it. So they're just wanting to speed things up. Deneka there with the carry up. He has a real chance for them. Can they find a, a gap it's somewhere? The chest, it's the chest, play on. Well, that was very disappointing that Henny Barnard perhaps wasn't expecting delivery of the ball. But they've turned it over. Out to Nick and they've got another chance. Well, little basic errors Last there. Forward. Too many handling errors in this match. There's Barnard. Bearing in mind, we said earlier, he's moved from the fullback position to centre. Just early on, the breakdown work of both sides, not good enough. The clean-outs aren't coming. And securing their own ball is somewhat of a mystery for both these talented sides. Yeah, five knock-ons, handling Brooks. errors in 11 minutes, just not five. good enough. Scrum. This is GM Brouvet with a put-in. Good solid scrum. Lots of time here for Guillermo Mini. And that's a pretty good kick then from the fly half. Uh, efficient work by Nordkop exiting from deep inside their own half. He didn't play Craven Week, Mini, one of the few that didn't in this team. Now, Buerta's throw in. Starting to get things right. Beautiful jump there from Zandberg. Tallest man on the field. Release the tackler. Well, Gio Milan did rather well there. I thought that ball might have gone forward. Hands. But it was quickly picked up by Otonekwa. This is Deneka. Roll! Tarantal. Quickly through the hands. Hands out. So, Otonekwa. Just uh, initially struggling to get over the advantage, advantage line. Last feet. Penalty advantage, yeah. So Tarantal Entry. decides let's try a little chip kick, the but they've got the assist. penalty. Again, same question I suppose we posed earlier. Kick it goal or not? Well, you, you want to get points on the board. You're behind by a try and a penalty. Eight points to nil and a rather simpler... If it closer to the pause, one would have thought they would have taken their points on offer. Here's the open side flanker, Leon Miller of Nordkorp. Unfortunately, not, not being able to maintain his body weight. And let's see if the Quachas can get this line out right. Well, there's their go to man, Edward Zandberg. Side entry eight. So another penalty advantage here for Otenikwa. Last feet, Miller. So they've got some good options here. Denecker again used to carry it up. Just didn't have close in support to lever him over the line. Eight from the side. Eight wide from the side. That's Gerard Holtzhausen who's penalised. Now if they continue, and which is exactly what they're doing, Plus the line out around. options, you can middle. see big Zandberg there, towering above Plus most of the players. Open, open. Just got to set a little bit earlier in the drive, open, open. control it a lot better from the back, Will Milan. He'll end up with a dividend if he does that. No contest from Nordkarp. 
And of course, you've got the power of Deneka to help carry you over there, over the line, and they've scored. Well, here Milan gets over for his drive. It was a well constructed drive. They managed to set early. The leg drive was good. They controlled it at the boot of the mall. And he's crashed over for his side's first five pointer in this 90th festival game against Nordkop. And they're back in the game while the Quachas. There was an example, not a very big man here, Milan, but he had basically Gregory Nell and Vainan Deneka helping push him over the line. So good work there by the captain of Ojanikwa. And their decision to kick for the corner has paid dividends. So he'll be content as a captain that they do have the ability to crash over from close quarters. Leighton Eckstein has absolutely hammered that, but just a little bit wide. So two tries, none of them converted. And the only difference between the two teams, the penalty from Titis. Well, look at the body position of the Ojanikwa players. The Nordkorp fella stood off, and it was well controlled at the back by Milan, who's got in for his side's opening try. Well, that kick's gone too far, so Nordkorp, very, very basic error of theirs. And they just seem to be losing the initiative that they had in those early minutes of this match. The ascendancy that, that you've touched on, they've just managed to give it away, and that's inexcusable by Guillermo Mini. He puts his side under pressure, again, gives the attacking side options on both sides of the field. And Rutkov all of a sudden started making elementary errors. Crouch. Nevertheless, Nine. they still lead this match Zero. by those three points. Stay flanker. Picked up at the back by LaRue Bart. This is better play now. Can they find some space? Strong running. Oh. Corner to Clark looks a, a very and speedy dogs. full back. The counter rucking is brilliant that from Nordkopf. They've shown a fair number of turnovers. This time it's a Lux Causa taking it up. He's a former Muir College boy from Utenag. In fact, the last game he played at Lucid Prop. Today he's on the flank. Roll. It's fine, is there? Brevet waiting for it. He's been well protected by a pack of forwards in front of him. But just have a look here. They're standing flat on Nordkop to get over the advantage line. But uh, yet another turnover. Strong running here from uh, Dion Kun. He's still going. Excellent play that from the lock forward. Now Tarantal to Blanche. Back inside from Kio Milan. He's also lost it. Number one white offside. Well, the turnovers are certainly mounting on either side. Well, there we see the turnovers conceded. Five by Otaniqua, three by Nordkop. However, it's Otaniqua red out on attack here, and it was from Dr. Boyson's carrying contact. He was far too upright. He got the ball stripped out of his hand. Yeah. Gullible kicks not taken, three by Otaniqua, but they'll know in the back of their mind they have the better of their opponents at this part of the game. Again, it's Zandberg in that line-out. This is a, a good little ploy, and they've, they've done this very well. They've got another chance here. This time, they didn't quite keep the unity that they needed, and then it's Demeka! Well, it's a big tight head. Vainan Taneka from the boot of this driving mall. And you just see him break off to the right of your picture as he crashes over for his side's second try of the afternoon. Good work by the man mountain, Taneka. And he's put his side ahead for the first time in this contest. I think you're being a little bit too clever that you said to the right of your picture. It ended up being the left, <laughs> but it depends on where you're sitting and where you look watching it from. Doesn't matter, he's over. So, Eckstein, another difficult conversion. Yeah. And this tower, just a slight little fade. 
the win that Gareth Wright was talking about a little bit earlier, playing its part. There's the big try scorer. Well, it was from the drive, and here you see on the right, the big Tartet crashing over. Good work by the Otaniqua pack close to the line. This time a better kick in from Mini. Tell you a little, Release I'll say little Gio Milan, the captain for Otaniqua. The back. open side flanker is a very industrious player. Tough man. This is Koza. He's also a pretty big fella. They've got a big pick of forwards, Otanik. Um, Newt Karp out from Hilford Clark. Chip and chase from Mini. This is Torrental. All just a little bit messy, so I'll come back for the scrum here to Otanikwe. Who are showing some level of territorial domination, which they'll be pleased about. One of the basic fundamentals from the restart, gather it, try to get back into the opposition's half, don't allow them to get on the scoreboard. Otaniqua just need to employ a bit more territorial dominance with the boot in, and, and play in the right areas Cross. of the field. Fine. Scrum. A little bit of width play. This is good play, this from Otaniqua. He has the speedy to clack. Decides to go inside. Keenan Torrental, very much part of the mix. However, they've lost the initiative of Otaniqua. I just wonder how G'd up the Otaniqua side is um, for this match, because prior to the game, one of the only two Springboks from Otaniqua, one of them was Marco Wenzel, who's now playing for the Sharks, and uh, Johan Hiernes. And Johan's actually down here, along with his brother Chris, who didn't play for South Africa, but he played for Eastern Province. Johan Hiernes handed out the jerseys to the Otaniqua boys, so hopefully that would have G'd them up too. Such a special occasion, and you know, Johan Jonas, a Springbok from 1981 to 1989, holds a record number of points in a Curry Cup season for 268. And just maybe that added pressure on these young men. Well, there is a lot of pressure, there's no doubt about it, but can they stand up importantly? That's brilliant pick up that from Leighton Eckstein. But uh, they're gonna, it's gonna be a scrum five, the attacking team's ball. And the attacking team is Nootkarp. Spoke about the Springboks from Otaniqua. There are none from Nootkarp. They're perhaps most illustrious players, Ronnie Cook, who played for the Southern Kings in Super Rugby this season. Good pick up by Leighton Extian, but it was the Nootkarp's chip into space that found grass. That's put the home side under immense pressure. Trust to their own line. Yeah, I think this is pressure. It's a pressure scrum because uh, they really got to have all eight with their Fine. feet back, really shoving here. But Nordkarp have got a fairly dominant pack of forwards, but brilliant play. Perhaps a little bit lucky that for Otanikwa. Managing to come away with it. This is Dimitri Titis. Well, the ball was played on the ground. I think it might be Leon Muller, the, the captain who's been penalised. So, Torrental. He's got a very trusty right left boot, hasn't he? That's a fantastic kick. Well, from the little initial chip and chase, it was Ryan De Vee got tackled. And then the open side flanker was penalised for going off his feet. Leon Miller, but a siege gun of a boot by Tarantal has put Otaniqua deep inside the Nordkarp half. Thrown from Buerta. Oh, really is working well. The lineouts are a well oiled machine at the moment for Otaniqua. Penalty advantage. Well, maybe they don't want it. Dion Kun's done another good run, and here comes Tarantal. Another dive, another try. Well, hasn't Dion Kun been a pillar of strength? It was his bustling run through the middle. He broke them over, open. It was a sunny ball to Christoph Rulisa. 
who managed to get his pass away to Tarantal, and what a dive to complete it. Getting in for his side's third try, with a conversion being added, they've taken a lead out to nine points have Otenequa. Well, the game's really turned around, hasn't it? 24 minutes gone past now. Initially, it was Nootkar, but this was Kun. And it was that sunny ball out the back of the hand, but Rolof had the presence of mind to free up the pass to Tarantal, who ran a great line down the middle of the field, and he's got in for his side's third try. This time, they decide on going with a low kick. There haven't been many opportunities for Vainan Tupriya. That time, just uh, trying to run his way out of trouble. One area of the game, the Quakers have been really poor at, is receiving the restart and exiting out of their own red zone. Gavin, a fundamental part of the game that they need to get right. Well, their biggest kicker is, in fact, their scrum off. And, you know, it's very difficult sometimes for a scrum off to have the space to execute big kicks downfield from within your 22. And just under so much pressure. This time the pressure coming from North Karp initially. Backwards. And a chance here for Titis. Roll. They really want to get some points on the board now, North Karp. They started so well. Roll. Bruver. On to Mini. And now uh, Bruvere well, just and trying to work that very small blind side. Koza. Mini. Well, the Koza it was. It was the last receiver of the ball. And things are now starting to happen for them. They had extra men there, but they're taking it into the eighth phase right now. So that's full credit to them for their accuracy. Saw that Dimitri Titis was trying to offload that pass. This time it's Bradley Laideckers. Well, 10 phases. Excellent play this by Nord Karp. Well, that ball's gone forward. So eventually, the sickness of knock ons once again raises its ugly head. It was stoic defense by the Quakers. They managed to just suffocate their opposition. And running somewhat laterally with the North Karpenars. And here we see the knock on from the pivot mini. Just handing out an equal opportunity to exit their lines. Gross. Bear in mind, of course, at school level, Gross. you play 35 minutes each way. So just under eight minutes left of this of this half. Otanikwa with a slight breeze at their back. And that's a pretty good kick, that. When they've needed to, they've done the right things. But, Gareth, I think you're right as well. They haven't really been able to kick very deep, kick themselves out of trouble. That time, an excellent touch finder. The tactical kicking has left a lot to be desired, have the Quakas, and they'll have a slight wind at their back in the second half. But they just need to make sure they don't concede any more points in this last seven minutes of this half. So the Nurt Karp forwards are certainly keeping Odenikwa busy. Oh, it's the long pass. Well, they've managed to keep that in field. That's good play by them. And Leon Becker, another Craven Week player, taking it in field. Excellent clean out from Nurt Karp. Oh, the counter are coming there from Odenikwa. And. As a result, that's good work by the men in black. Well, they're pretty G'd up down here. And George, initially I thought Van Antonek had come in from the side. However, they've managed to turn the ball over. Another opportunity for them to carve off some territory and play in the opposition's half. Well, two great teams, two great traditions, two very Oops. old schools. Competition Fine. sponsored by Mutual Scrub. and Federal. We go back uh, something like 180 Fine. years. So lots of heritage. Oh, it's a strong running into space late in next team. Beautiful play by him. This is an excellent effort. Oh, I think that's gone forward. 
sadly two wingers absolutely intricately involved well it was their willingness to put the ball into space unfortunately the pass coming from van antupria just going forward but great initiative by the home side and showing far more enterprise than their illustrious opponents take a note of leighton Eckstein's run there as well bearing in mind he's wearing the number 14 jersey but he's very often he's on the left wing and van antupria is the number 11 he's on the right wing they're really looking for work the two wingers Bruver. this is better play by norkov they got over the advantage line. now look at the forwards they're able to come straight into it and attack this is that man Eckstein again can't keep him out of the game and uh, a fantastic kick from him to get his side into a great position well it was the initial forage ahead by luke mason he did also well but unfortunately the kick by gm Bruvet was not a good one and Eckstein showed a neat touch to put it within 10 meters of the north car plant Good solid line out this time from Nuit Karp. And the line out hasn't always gone their way. Rivera trying to find his fly half. Mini. Well, that's not out. Maybe by design. He has Eckstein again. Now this time. Oh, he thought about a drop. And uh, uh, ultimately making a little bit of a hash of it. But they are in an attacking situation territory wise. There's the first half possession stacks. Nordkop well ahead with 61% of that. And the territory rather even. But Otaniqua edging ahead in that stack. Sprouts. Vine. Scrum. Well, the result doesn't necessarily reflect that, of course, as it stands. Otaniqua 17 to 8, only with territory, but 39% of. The balls and i'm sure at half time as well their coach will say to them guys you know what we've made lots of mistakes but we've scored 17 points with only 39 percent of possession you know let's let's go out there and fight for a little bit more and on the flip side hank brunt has to say to his charges chaps let's get the ball through the hands let's try to get hilford clark into space because he is rapid well that they're certainly trying to do right now and they've found a little bit of space there's the chip kick through but the touchline wins you could just see Hilford Clark come flying down the left wing. Well, we've got four wingers playing here today in these the schools match who desperately want to be involved in the game and uh, are all pretty quick. And you touched on the wingers, Juan Fanameva, he scored the vital try yesterday for SA schools against the English coming from this part of the world and school down here at Otanuka. So essentially five very good wingers. This time it's a short line out to the front. Good safe tactic. And they know that they can then carry it up in the form of Lalu Bart. Just going off. Got to stay up. He's just going off. Well, he has a chance for Nordkarp. Now, bear in mind, there's just under two minutes left. Do they want to kick it goal? Dimitri Titis, one out of two from a similar position. They've been out of the game for the last 15 minutes. My gut feeling is to kick a goal, but they'll probably drive it over and score a try. Well, Gareth, I'm not so sure. You know, when you when one of your big men is down, and and you'll you'll see this. It probably happened right here. It looks like Jabez Stain is down at the moment, and you now got a line out. You want to catch and drive from there. You need the power of your forwards. And at the moment, we've got a man there in the middle of picture who's down injured. One of the bigger men in the North Carp side, who might not be part of the next play. I fully agree with you. You take your points on offer. There are nine points adrift at this stage. They kick it over. They're in the game. It's a converted try. Anything can happen. But I must credit referee Yaku Devit. Consistency is all that you look for as a coach and as a player. And he got that spot on. Christopher Rulofsa went off his feet. He penalized Nordkarp earlier on. And good refereeing. It's good to see these young guys coming through. And it's a, a great reflection on, on years to go forward. You know, with Jonathan Kaplan hanging up... Uh, his boots at the end of the season and no, no, uh, his whistle 
<laughs> well, and his boots. <laughs> well, you know, it's great to see these young fellas coming through in the refereeing department. So Jabez train is up on his feet, so that's a victory that for Nord Karp. Now, can they carry this up towards the goal line in a unified way? Jabez train part of it. There you can see him at the back as they drive it forward. Well, they've got a penalty advantage. Now, that worked rather well for them. So, bank a ball in the line out, drive from there. That's probably the best option. No, they're going to tap and go. And over the line they go. I think it's Jabez Stein who scored it. So, the man who was injured is, gets up and is very much part of the play. Well, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Jabe Stein, who was down and out a minute ago, he's managed to crash over the line. For his side, second try, he's brought them back into this contest. Here you see it. He took the impact, worked hard with the legs, great body position, and he's thundered in and brought Nuit Karp right back into this contest. Well, he's down at the moment, and I just hope that that isn't the last play for him. Took a real knock a little bit early on. Picked himself up. Brave man. Scored a try. And in fact, a very important try too. As this is probably the last kick of the half. Titi's looking to bring them a little bit closer. Well, that looks like a better kick from him. And uh, over she goes. Uh, great finish to that half for Nuit Karp. Particularly pleased, but not a great finish to that half. Outside of the try for that man down there, Jubez Strain. It remains to be seen whether or not he will be part of the second half play. Of course, the schoolboy players don't go into the dressing room. They stay on the field. They drink their water. I don't see any oranges around, but I think that's in our history. And that first half then... Interesting one, too, in that there were five tries scored in that first half. Maybe we'll see some more in the second. Half time, Odenek was 17, Nordkarp 15.